Welcome to day four. This is Redhead Goes Healthy. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I am doing a 21 day reset challenge, mind, body, and soul. If you'd like to learn more about that, please click the video above or read the daily goals that I have set out for myself below. So I weighed in this morning at 180.4, which is excellent. I am headed in the right direction. I'm very excited about that. And it seems that that is about right. The day before, I believe I weighed in at 180.6 and yesterday was a normal calorie day uh, combined with intermittent fasting. Today is also a normal calorie day combined with intermittent fasting, so we'll see what my weigh-in is tomorrow. I also just wanna throw in here that I so appreciate the support that I've been receiving from you guys. I find that these YouTube videos are actually holding me accountable in ways that just I've never experienced before. Believe me, there are times when I'm thinking to myself, oh gosh, I don't want to read that book. I don't want to talk about that book or I don't want to meditate today. But I know that there are some people watching me and I want to do what I said I was going to do. So all that is to say is I just really appreciate everybody who is along for the ride here. Um, I'm gonna do a little shout out to Miss E. I just so appreciate your, your comments. Uh, she also bought the book. So I'm excited to kind of like have other people who are reading the book alongside with me. Love that idea of community. Uh, so thank you all just so much for that. And if you have your own journey that I don't know of, please comment below because I really like to find other channels, especially if you're a smaller YouTube channel like me. I wanna build up our community. So please do that. So today I just wanna jump right into the daily goals. This will hopefully be a little bit shorter. Uh, so let's begin with my mind. Story time. Today's 10 pages involved a continuation of the conversation of what success looks like and how society has sort of tricked us into thinking that that is the key to our happiness. She equates success to another word that I think many of us are familiar with, hustle. I honestly have always thought of people who are hustling as doing, you know, what it takes. And I feel like it has a very positive connotation in our society. Like you're just constantly hustling. If you're if you're trying to be successful, you are going to be doing as as much as you possibly can, like going from job to job or even in, in one job, task to task in order to sort of reach the top. And I've always admired people who were hustlers, but she completely argues against it. She says that it's great for accruing stuff, but it's not really great for understanding what we truly, truly desire and who our true selves are. She goes so far as to say that anything that you do to influence others is a form of a hustle. So that can be anything from flirting with somebody, putting on a particular outfit to feel a certain way around others. If you are doing anything to influence other people, then you are hustling. Now I wanna be clear, she is not judging us for being well socialized creatures. If we're, if we're able to do that, that means that society has done its job and we're able to sort of fit into particular norms and exist within society. She's not judging us for it. She's just trying to point out that that might not always align with what you really want to be doing. And so of course she gives us a little exercise. Think about something that you did last week that you really, really enjoyed doing. Then think about something that you did last week where you were dreading doing it. And just sit with that difference. Just sit with it for a little bit. Try to explore why you dreaded doing that task. Was it because it was something you were supposed to do? Was it something that someone else wanted you to do that you didn't really want to do? Just kind of explore that a bit. Now she's not suggesting that we abandon cultural norms. That's not what she's suggesting. Like I said before, all she wants us to do is just sit with the difference and notice that there are things that we do 
that we might not actually want to be doing deep, deep down. Maybe we don't wanna be hanging out with that particular group of friends, but we find that we're always saying yes to their invitations. Maybe it has to do with FOMO. Maybe it's a fear of being alone and that's the only reason why you're hanging out with them. I don't know. All of these things I think can be, you can sort of ask yourself if you find that you are doing things that you don't really wanna be doing and then asking the further question, why am I doing those things? This will demonstrate to you that you are divided in yourself. And again, it's not a judgment. I think every single person does things they don't necessarily want to be doing. But if this is a theme in your life, then I think this book is for you. What she's gonna be doing tomorrow is offering us a teacher or a guide. And that's also a part of the divine comedy theme. So we will probably meet Virgil tomorrow. And now we go to the body. And finally, the soul. And feel free to meditate with me. There was a train in this uh, meditation, and I also thought this meditation was very, very cringeworthy. So enjoy that. My name is Aditi, and we're here together today for a five minute happiness meditation. So take a moment and set up a seat that works for you. And rest your hands in your lap, close your eyes if that feels okay, and settle in. We'll start with just a big breath into your nose, moving into your belly, and a long exhale out, feeling like you can let something go. Again like that, just a big breath in, and a long breath out. And you can take as many of these breaths as you need, just sensing with your exhales that you can soften and release, melt the shoulders away from the ears, heavy the eyelids, make some space in your jaw. And then you might just scan through your body Notice if you're holding on to tension. And do your best to give yourself permission to soften. From this quiet place, I want you to imagine the curve of a smile. might even feel that smile at your own lips. And imagine and feel and sense the warmth behind that smile, the lightness, the space, the openness. And you might imagine moving that curve of a smile down into the space of your heart and bringing with the image of a smile all of that warmth and goodness, that lightness, that happiness. And you might imagine the curve of a smile in your mind. Or in your belly. Or the feeling of a smile moving into your fingertips, down to your toes. Just sensing the energy starting to build inside of you. And as you breathe in, you might imagine that you could feed that flame. And 
and feel it spread. And then pay attention to what that feels like. And give yourself permission to enjoy it. When you're ready, you might just take a few deeper breaths. Bring your hands to your heart. And plant that seed of happiness within you. Know that you can come back to it anytime that you want. And take a moment to send yourself a thank you for showing up for this practice. When you're ready, you can release your hands and open your eyes. Thanks so much for tuning in with me. Until next time, I'm Aditi. Thanks for choosing Peloton. That was cheesy. All right, and I will see you guys tonight for my checklist of the daily goals. Thanks for watching. All right, let's do the daily goals. Weigh in at 180.4. Read 10 pages of a book. Did that. My move ring was pretty high today, actually. It was 800. Total calories burned, 2,500. One gallon of water, yep. Oh gosh, it's hard to do this with my phone. Uh, today was a regular day and I had 1975 calories. Again, basically ate the same thing that I had yesterday. Meditated for five minutes and film and upload this accountability video. Thank you all and see you tomorrow.